All right, um, now anyway, the key point is, first of all, the peroxide forms radicals. Then the only purpose of this is to steal a hydrogen from the HBr, which gives you the bromine radical, and then you really get into the main reaction. I'll put a box around this, because in a sense, this is the main reaction. These are the steps that are going to keep repeating over and over in the chain mechanism. These two steps are the ones that are going to keep repeating over and over in the chain mechanism. The whole goal of these first two steps is just to get this bromine radical. The whole goal of the first two steps is just to get the bromine radical, which can then attack the double bond. And the interesting thing is that the bromine is going to attach, but it's going to attach in a way that forms the more substituted radical. That's the key way that this is tested. And then that radical picks up a hydrogen from another HBr. The whole kind of goal of this reaction is to add the hydrogen and the Br to the double bond. We're adding the hydrogen and the Br. So here's where we really get down to that business of adding the hydrogen and the Br. First the Br adds, forming the more substituted radical, and then the hydrogen adds. And then once we have another bromine radical, we can go back and do another chain of the reaction all over again. But this is as much as we need to draw. All right, now the main way this is tested is regiochemistry. Was this Markovnikov or anti-Markovnikov? How did you decide that? Because the radical was on the more substituted carbon, and then, well, no, it's not the anti carbon is on the Because? Because the VR is on the less substituted That's the key. So Markovnikov and anti-Markovnikov is not based on where the radical of the carbocation is. It's based on where the electronegative atom ends up. Mm -hmm. Markovnikov is when the electronegative atom ends up on the more substituted carbon. And anti-Markovnikov is when the electronegative atom ends up on the less substituted carbon. Because in the other in the in the other reaction we were doing, the H was placed on first, so that's why that one. That's why the, the mm -hmm. normally the mm -hmm. electronegative atoms go on the more substituted. Okay. That's actually very well put. Yeah, that, that's a very good thought process. Why did we get the opposite result? Well, previously when we saw a Markovnikov reaction, so we, we we previously saw a different reaction where we just did this without the peroxide. If we just do this without the peroxide and without the light, this would be Markovnikov. But with the peroxide and the light, it's anti-Markovnikov, and you really put your finger on the big difference. In this reaction, in both reactions, we're adding hydrogen and bromine. But in the Markovnikov reaction, the hydrogen adds first, and the bromine adds second. Well, then the bromine ends up on the more substituted carbocation. However, in this new anti-Markovnikov reaction, it's the bromine that attaches first. That's the really interesting thing about this mechanism. First the bromine came in, only later did the hydrogen come in. Well, since the bromine is coming in first, it has to now attach to the less substituted carbon because we want to form the more substituted radical. And then, uh, so we're always forming the more substituted radical or carbocation, but if the electronegative atom attaches second, it ends up on that more substituted carbon. And if the electronegative atom attaches first, it ends up on the less substituted atom so that you can form the more substituted carbocation or radical. All right, so this is, uh, it's very likely that you'll be tested on the difference in regiochemistry between these two reactions. That's a very favorite uh, exam topic, so you want to be uh, comfortable with that. And the mechanisms really explain it. The mechanism shows that in this reaction, bromine adds first, whereas in this reaction, the hydrogen adds first. And that explains why one is Markovnikov and one is uh, anti-Markovnikov. Uh, Mar um, before I forget, this reaction actually would also work For any of these three, but this is only for HBr. I think that's in the handout. Or no, it's not, because actually this um, this radical mechanism isn't in the handout. Uh, this radical mechanism isn't in the handout. Um, but if you're just doing the Markovnikov hydrohalogenation, you can use pretty much any hydrohalogen except hydrofluoride. Um, but the only one you can do the peroxide radical mechanism with is HBr. I saw that you could use those in the second language book. Right, that's right. It, it, does, it has good coverage of that. Okay. So, um, so if I had just used HBr, if we had just used HBr here, the bromine would have been over here. 
That's the big difference. Since we use these reagents, the bromine added here. But if we use this reagent, the bromine would add here. Okay, good. All right, that's the main way that this is likely to be uh, tested. Uh, make sure you have clear notes on this mechanism, because I think it's a pretty complicated mechanism. Only by writing it down a couple times can people really get through all those steps there. All right. So the goal here is to write the correct product. Um, if you feel like it, you can go through the whole mechanism. But if you don't want to, you can just draw the product. Uh, if you want, you can do the whole mechanism. But if you like, you can just draw the product. If you can, you can do that. I remember to put the double bond. So you're having a couple little trouble with that. Why don't we go through the mechanism then? But I'll help you with that because it's a hard mechanism. So uh, do you remember what happens first in this mechanism? Remember something that this oxygen would now do. Oxygen is going to take the atom with the hydrogen and take the hydrogen off of whom? Off of the Br. That's right. Now the way we write that, notice that to form a bond you have to show two arrows pointing to each other. So we would write that like this. Good. Now, who's the reactive atom? Good. So we have to figure out something for the bromine to do. This is going to be an addition reaction. Mm -hmm. Who are we adding? Uh, We're adding these two things. So the bromine isn't going to take anything here. It's going to add. Okay. Now, that means the bromine is actually going to attach to the molecule now. It's not just going to take a hydrogen. It's going to actually attach to the molecule. Um, but where is it going to attach? To this carbon on the left or this carbon on the right? Why? Because then the carbocation would be on the more substituted. Then the radical would be on the more substituted. That's right. So we would draw that like this. So let's draw the intermediates from that step. Okay, 
don't forget the other arrow that we have on the board. Good. Now we've gotten into the main reaction. The main reaction is when we start adding the H and the BR. These were just preliminaries over here. And I think there's a problem with what you drew, because notice that these arrows mean we're losing this pi bond. So we don't want to keep drawing that pi bond in this position over here. These arrows mean we're losing the pi bond. Remember, that's the whole idea of addition. Addition adds two atoms to remove the pi bond. 